Good afternoon, Hope Alliance Church family. I hope you're staying warm on this cold, chilly winter day. Uh, I got bad news for you. Uh, there's one, there's a wind chill factor in effect, and over this weekend it's going to get into the negatives. Now don't be upset with me. We're in upstate New York. It's in January. It's supposed to do this. But I just wanted to give you a uh, a warning, a heads up, a downer, you might say. But this video is really to be an encouragement. And the encouragement this morning is about letting our light shine in this world. And this came about this morning when I took our dog Bandit outside at 6 a.m. Uh, he woke me up and said, I need to go outside. And so I took him outside and it was dark, like every morning in upstate New York. And it was cloudy and it was dreary. And then all of a sudden I looked up into the sky and I saw the moon and it was illuminating. It looked something like this. And I realized that in this dark, dreary day, there was a light shining and it made it a little bit better. So I started thinking about that for a moment and then I went inside and I had to ask this question to myself, how is the moon illuminated? And so I wanted to look it up and here's a quiz for you. I, hopefully you can get it right, I got it wrong. Uh, I put, you know, here are the four answers. Does it produce its own light? Uh, is it does it reflect the light from the sun? Is it, is, does it transform energy into light, or does it have solar batteries? I picked D, solar batteries, but obviously I was wrong, and if it, it, the answer is B, it, it reflects light from the sun. And I started thinking about that, and I looked it up a little bit more, and sometimes the, the, the moon is brighter based on where it is in its orbit, and I take that as the closer it is to the sun, the, more, the, the brighter that it is. Um, and so here's what Matthew 5 uh, 14 and 14 through 16, Jesus tells us this. You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that, you may so, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. We as Christ followers should re reflect the light of, of the sun. And so really, if you look at it, as the moon reflects the sun, S-U-N, we as Christ followers, we are to reflect the sun, S-O-N. And you know what? The closer I am walking with Jesus, the brighter the light I will shine. And in the same way, as the moon reflects the sun and it gives, it gives light into the darkness, we too, as believers, should be giving light into the darkness of the world that we are in. And one of the ways that our light can shine is maybe that we can give people hope. And the hope is that this is, this is not our home. Our home is in heaven. As a matter of fact, I don't know when the last time as you thought about that, but here's what Philippians 3.20 tells us. As I turn to it, and it says... Um, it says, but our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly wait a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. When's the last time you thought about your home in heaven? Maybe we should think about that every day, and it gives us hope. It helps us to get through this. It puts a smile on our face that this and everything that's going on here will end, and someday we'll be in heaven. Another way that we can let our light shine is to have peace. Uh, another way that we can let, let our light shine is that we can have love and we can have joy. Another light way that we can let our light shine is by showing people kindness and gentleness. And my favorite is one of the ways we can let our light shine is that we can have patience. And you know, the closer I am into Jesus, the more patience I have. And my light of patience shines. And the same thing, the more I'm closer to Jesus, the more hope I have, the more peace I have, the more, more love I have, the more joy I have, the more kindness I have, the more gentleness I have. And so... The way I am closer to Jesus is by spending time in his word. And you can, you know, you can read through the Gospels and you can see it in, in, in the red letters of, of the Gospels. And, and, and the other part is praying. And that's why we've kind of put the 30 days of prayer together, that we can let our light shine through prayer and we can let our light shine by reading of the word. And part of the 30 days of prayer was we, we, we did the 15 minute a day Bible challenge. Just spending 15 minutes reading the Bible and, 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 and seeing where God would take you in it. And as you read the Bible, to talk to God about things that are going on. So the question is, how are you doing with that? That's how our light shines, closer to Jesus, hearing his words, believing his words, living out his words, giving people hope. If you're not doing so good, just start it again. Start it today. Start it after this video is over. If you're doing it, keep it going. And again, as I said a couple of times, as, as it is, the closer I am to Jesus, the brighter my light will shine. And when I am that close to Jesus and my light is shining bright with hope and kindness and peace and all of that, people are now going to ask me why I have this hope, as, as Peter says to us. 
But in your hearts, regard Christ as Lord, as holy, ready at any time to give a defense to anyone who asks you for the reason for the hope that you have. I think about the light we shine in this world would be a light of hope, a light of understanding eternity, a light of, 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 of people that, that, that can give them, give them endurance and help them through this time. And the hope that, we, that, that, that this light is founded is, is in Jesus. And so as the light reflects the sun, as, you, as, as the moon reflects the sun, S-U-N, as a Christ follower, I reflect the light of the sun, S-O-N. And so may we stay close to him, may we spend time with him, and then may we take the words that he says, believe in those words, and live them out, and then people will say, why do you have this hope? And we can point them to the light of Jesus, letting our light shine in this dark world. Let me pray for you as we close. Uh, Father, I pray, starting with me, that our light would shine. Lord, we look around and there's so many things that can pull us down and so many things that can get us discouraged and so many things that can, can, can cause us heartache, Lord. But may we look at you and may we find closer to you and may our light shine. May it shine as the moon shines in, 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 in the dark and dreary morning as like this morning. May our light shine of the hope of Jesus in a dark and dreary land that we live in sometimes. And, and may people see the peace that we have and may people see the kindness and the gentleness and the excitement and the laughter and the joy that we have. And may they ask us why and may we be ready to say we have the light of Jesus. So I pray for an anointing and a blessing upon our congregation as you send them out into different areas of where they live and where they work. May their light shine. And when people ask them, may they give ready to give an, an answer to the hope, the hope in Jesus, the light that they have. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless and enjoy uh, another wonderful day in upstate New York.